Something I have noticed is that every single dynamic driver IEM is garbage. In this video, I am going to explain why. I was reading a post Brent Butterworth made on Soundstage Solo, in which he says, before the Harman curve started to gain traction, it was common for headphones to have elevated response below 500 Hz. It's easy to understand why. Almost all headphones have a single driver, and they're tuned through mechanical and electrical alterations in the driver, through the damping materials placed in front of and behind the diaphragm, and if they're a closed back design, through the acoustical characteristics of the enclosure. Using these relatively crude methods, it's tough to achieve the kind of bass response the Harman curve demands a roughly 6 dB per octave rise below 200 Hz and then an elevated but basically flat response below about 100 Hz. By contrast, this is relatively easy to do in multi-driver earphones. Just use a dynamic driver for the bass and roll off its response above 100 Hz. Therefore, to get real, pure, and uncolored bass in an earphone without using EQ, you need a dedicated bass driver. The Aria Snow is muddy garbage. The Moondrop 2 is no sub bass in a little bit of mud garbage. The Moondrop Kato is muddy garbage. The Moondrop Illumination is muddy garbage with no sub bass. Do you guys see what is going on here? This is a serious problem with single driver earphones and is why they will never be good. Well, one of the reasons. The second reason is that the high level of response past 10 kHz is not easy to achieve in a single driver earphone. Adding a balanced armature tweeter can dramatically increase the high frequency sensitivity of the earphone avoiding the need for strong equalization. The tweeter not only avoids high frequency loss due to the larger, heavier cone, but also allows moving the dynamic further from the port opening without the risk of high frequency loss. This allows for more attractive and comfortable headphone housing shapes. Essentially, the reason most dynamic driver earphones have poor high frequency extension is because the driver is larger and heavier than that of a balanced armature or electrostatic tweeter. The part about multi-driver allowing for more attractive and comfortable headphone housing shapes is also true. The dynamic driver on the variations is quite high above the port. The shell size is perfect for my ear and very ergonomic, but this part is subjective so I won't speak too much about that. The difference in high frequency performance is obvious. Each of the Sony and electrostatic drivers in the variations costs about $50 for Moondrop. Source gives audio, although he said that the prices for Moondrop might be a little bit cheaper. That is $200 just for the treble alone in this earphone, and you can see that it is not there for no reason. The extension is far superior to that of the Chu. Same with the bullshit Kato and Illumination. This reminds me of the saying that most of the money spent in this hobby is for the last 1%. The average person probably does not care that much, but for a real audiophile, a multi-driver IEM is required. Shout out to our two channel members Vsauce4 and Hamidicus Tengaritis. Thank you for supporting the channel as a real audiophile. In addition, channel members get a special role in the Discord server that gives them access to text-to-speech permissions. If you want to support the realist audio reviewer, donate through PayPal to ganya1 at gmail.com, super chat donations in your comments, or join the channel membership for $4.99 a month for a shout out at the end of each video. If you want me to review a product, specify the product in your donation. If you would like to talk to people about anything audio related and much more without the fear of getting banned for no reason, be sure to check out the Apple House Sound Discord server linked in the description. As usual, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends.